There are tons of options when it comes to optimizing your gameplay in the new Demon Slayer game. So much so that oftentimes players can find themselves overwhelmed with what and when they should use these different options. And there seems to be no definitive video with every option you could take and why when it comes to defense. And who has the time to watch 10 different videos to get all the info you need? So I decided to make the best defensive video with everything you need to turn any player into a stone wall of defense to boost your win rate in Demon Slayer's Hinokami Chronicles. If you find anything in this video useful, be sure to like and share the video, and drop a sub for more future Demon Slayer and fighting game help, gameplay, and news dropping on this channel. The first improvement I can see a lot of players need to make is understanding what to do when their opponent tends to dash in and use their assist from full screen. There are great options to put yourself in an advantageous position to punish impatient players that rush in a lot. When you see your opponent dash in, you have three great ways to respond. First, you can start to charge a heavy attack. You can do this by flicking any direction and tapping the attack button at the same time. This will make sure you can eat any damage that a mashing opponent and their assist will deal while keeping you from being in hit stun. You will interrupt their action and proceed to put them in hit stun for you to start your own combo. If they used an assist to get in, this will allow for you to do a combo without fear of them bailing out. The downside to this is you will eat a little bit of damage as well as start a red combo. Red combos give you the least amount of time to do damage before your opponent falls out. Still a great option that you can go through a lot of pressure and if your opponent tries to bait your heavy and cancel their dash, you can always cancel your heavy attack with a dash. Next is utilizing parry or perfect block. You can do this by flicking any direction and tapping the block button at the same time. This will put you in a stance that will stun your opponent when they hit you during the parry duration. This will start a blue combo that gives you a long window to do damage to them before they fall out of it. This is a risky option because it will leave you vulnerable if you aren't hit, but it is a pretty generous amount of time to get hit from when you start it. This is especially good when your opponent goes in without an assist so you can time it perfectly. This will negate any damage that you would have taken as well as set up your opponent to take damage, but be careful as you can't dash cancel out of this parry if your opponent baits you to do it. Last is jumping and doing a diving attack. This is a lot more risky and could be caught out, but if timed right, you could catch your opponent dashing or attacking and go straight into your combo. This can be good for dodging really long range assists, but it's situational. If your opponent has a high hitting move, it will catch you out. Definitely not the most recommended option, but can be used to stay random and throw off your opponent if they are starting to catch on to you in your antics. If you have some resources to burn and want to reset back to neutral or push your opponent back to full screen, you could boost during blocking. This will interrupt the opponent's attacks while sending them flying back. While this is a stable option to go for, I don't recommend doing this unless your guard is about to break and you've used up all of your other options. Definitely a last resort move as you will burn through your ultimate meter and we all know just how powerful Surge is. Push block is a powerful tool to gain some breathing room during pressure and there are a lot of options to follow up push blocks with. While there are tons of videos and guys out that talk about push block, no one really goes over every option and when they are good to use. So I've compiled pretty much every universal thing you could go for after a push block. First is heavy attack. As stated earlier, this is a good and less risky way to interrupt your opponent's offense. This can get you out of a multi-hit assist cluttered block string, and you can hold the heavy and cancel the heavy to adjust to what your opponent is doing. You will still eat some damage as well as start a red combo, but it's still one of your best options. Next is parry or perfect blocking after a push block. A lot better as far as not taking damage and starting a blue combo for more damage, but a lot more risky than a heavy attack. You can't cancel out of a parry, and you are left open if your opponent reads what you are doing, or even if you push your opponent far enough so that their next attack won't reach you in time to trigger your counter hit. Next is calling an assist. After a push block, there should be a small window where you are not blocking any attacks. You can call your assist to come out without triggering a combo break, and depending on what your opponent is doing and what type of assist you have, your assist can interrupt your opponent's actions. This is a great option to go for, but risky, as you have to be quick with calling an assist during the window and there's a chance that your assist can get hit during their move or just outright miss your opponent. Your next option is to jump out or backdash after a push block. This is a very defensive option that will put a gap between you and your opponent but won't immediately shift the offense in your favor. This is good if you don't have much resources and want to reset the match back to neutral, but this is risky as your opponent can dash or just have enough forward momentum to chase you. The next option is more situational as it will only work with certain characters but that is to use your defensive special. To do this, you press special while blocking. Some characters have uppercut moves like Tanjiro's Whirlpool and Rengoku's uppercut slash. These will result in a hard knockdown ending your opponent's attacks 
and putting them on the floor. Others, like Giyu, have counter hit specials that can lead to more combo potential against your opponent. Certain characters like Orokodaki and Murata don't have moves in the way of offensive specials as they don't directly attack, so it won't work for them. This is a good option for most, but ends any form of counterplay as it ends the entire interaction. The last option you have is to use your ultimate move. This costs resources but gives you armor and will most likely land. The risk to this however is great. If your opponent is able to cancel their attack animation with a dash, block, or even their own ultimate, this will leave you with one less ultimate bar as well as being stuck in your ultimate animation, allowing them to restart whatever pressure they had on you. But if successfully landed, this can lead to huge damage as it won't be scaled back from doing a combo into it. You will use all the ultimate meter you have though, so it's an option I would only use as a last resort to try and close out fights. Still an option not commonly used in the defensive way. Quick recovery. The next thing to utilize is quick recovering out of combos. A lot of the time due to the mechanics of the combo timer, you can fall out of a combo in the middle of your opponent's moves. Good players will try to time their attacks and specials to end at the same time as the combo timer so as to not be stuck in an attack animation, but when it does happen, it can allow for you to do quick recovery as soon as you touch the ground, leaving your opponent essentially stunned by their animation and vulnerable to your attacks. This isn't going to always be the case, especially as you start to win more and play better opponents, but it is something you should always be trying to do. In this game, offense is rewarded, so being able to switch up the pressure is going to push the needle more in your favor and lead to more overall damage output. Last tip to greatly improve your defensive capabilities is to try and stall out your opponent's surge. We all know just how devastating and impactful surge is in this game. Take it from me, I have a video showing everyone's 100% combo capability when in surge. In situations when your opponent surges, it's best to try not and fight them. Rather, you should just try and run and dodge and stall out their surge time. While in surge, you get armor on your moves, as well as infinite special meter and huge damage, so trying to counter your opponent is more risky than it's worth. You should utilize dash and jump dash to evade your opponent as greatly as possible, and by the time the surge ends, they will be in a resource deficit, allowing you to overcome them in the match. Hopefully you learned something during this video and I was able to provide you with a little more information that you didn't already have. If you liked the video, leave a like, share the video, and subscribe for more information on fighting games and Demon Slayer in the future. Thanks.